kaya ko ini. <laughs> yes, I can do this. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me again, Lily Williams the Fourth. And for today, for this video, it's going to be a makeup tutorial. It's the Lush English Only Challenge. And knowing me, I'm not good in English, pero tina try ko kasi alam mo na. One of the reasons why na nagbablog ako because I want to practice my communication skills and nahihirapan talaga ako sa ito. Hiba ako ni Sodi pero I'm going to try my best for that. And by the way, as you can see, I already put some... Kasi mo English na sila na ako gastart pa gani. So, as you can see... As you can see, yung tagal na as you can see. Ang bakba pa dapit ako puro bulok. Sa nakikita nyo, Nilagyan ko na ng kilay yung kilay ko at I'm wearing contact lens na. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to start na. So, without further ado, let's get started. What you bet? What you lala? What you bet? Lala! <laughs> so, hi everyone, I'm back. So, for the first step that I'm going to do, because I already put some eyebrows and contact lens on my face and my my eyes <laughs> so the first thing that I'm going to do is to mattify my face by using this product from Garnier 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 so I'm going to use this product as you can see going to put some toner on our face Gatagalog na agapi sa ilagay ako O sige, dili, nalas na yun to Ayan, kailangan lang natin i-mattify yung face Ito yung natagal So, ano yung English na ayan? That! We have to mattify our face first Because, I don't know, don't ask me what is the purpose of mattifying your face because I don't know the answer. <laughs> yeah, what like this? <laughs> so, ayan, mamat. So, that. Ginoo. <laughs> Lord, tapang. Yeah, we're going to mattify our face first. Ah, I know the purpose of mattifying your face is to clean your face because you're going to put, put some makeup. So after mattifying your face, we're going to put some moisturizer so that we are always hydrated. <laughs> yawa! I should stop saying yawa because I have lots of ado, mga batang na nunood, and hindi mo ko pula na English. So okay, again. I think I'm going to stop saying yawa na because there's a lot. I have audiences younger. <laughs> I have, uh, there's a lot of kids watching my videos. Yeah, that's right. And it's not good for them to hear that. <laughs> to hear that again. Is that right? I was going to say again. I don't know what I'm saying. So, After putting some moisturizer, we're going to use this facial spray from Mario Debesco. And this facial spray is a must. You have to have this product always. You have to... Yeah. Let's spray na lang. Ayan. That so after spraying it, let just wait for the the product to sink into our face, <laughs> and yes, j just wait for that. Para makapaglagay na tayo ng from the. I said speak English only, balay. Tinuo ko kabulok. Yes, I'm so sorry, guys. You know I'm not good in English. I'm just. I'm just beautiful. So after moisturizing, prepping your face, we're going to do, we're going to go to the next step, which is the foundation. For the foundation, I'm going to use this 
Super Stay 24 Hours Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm going to put this product onto the sponge. And we're going to blend it to my face. Just keep on blending for you to, to get that flawless face. <laughs> yeah. This foundation is so full coverage and yeah, it's full coverage. We're just going to keep on, on blending lang para even yung mukha natin sa skin tone natin. Most especially here uh, on our neck. You, you know, we have too much the color of our face in our neck. Our neck for us to look flawless. Is that right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, you know. I'm just being pretty. I'm not intelligent as you are. So stop judging me. So yeah, and after foundation, we're going to proceed to the concealer, and we're just going to blend it out. <laughs> blend it out, ba? We're just going to blend it until it makes flawless. It looks flawless. It looks flawless. It looks yawa yeah, na. The most important by doing your base first is just to blend it well because it is very important yeah. <laughs> do i look like gym chops so after blending it we're going to bake the concealer and still using this sponge so that so that so while it is baking, let us dust off some of the excess powder on our forehead and on our chin. We're going to keep the powder here because it will catch the fallout and that fallout might hurt you because you're falling to someone who don't love you. <laughs> So let's proceed to the eyeshadow and eyeshadow is very important because it will make your eyes pop up and this eyeshadow that is I'm going this is the shadow that I that this is the eyeshadow that so this so so this is the eyeshadow that I am going to use I'm going to use this shade here because we're going to use that shade for the transition just going to keep on blending because blending is the key let's blend it out to the outer corner of our eyes then dito sa inner corner in transition so after the transition we're going to get this this shade the darker one we're going to put it to the outer corner of our eyes. After putting it, get the brush that you use a while and blend it out again. So after blending it, let's cut the crease. So after cutting your crease, get some powder and bake it. So I'm going to do the other side of cam. Just keep on watching. So I'm back. So everyone, after cutting my crease, I'm going to get this brush that I use a while to for a while that, that I use. Uh, <laughs> we can do this. So I'm back. So everyone, after cutting my so everyone after cutting my crease, I'm going to get this. So I get I can do this. So everyone I'm back. After cutting your crease, you're going to get the 
brush that you use to darken the outer corner a while and just get a shadow again the dark one and you're going to blend the outer corner and the crease itself here so after doing that get a flat brush and get a sparkly shadow which is from this palette I'm going to use this shade here get from 35R Ready Set Golden Shadow. I'm going to put it to the crease that I made a while. So after putting that shade, we're going to back to the palette that I used a while and this shade here. It's called Giza from Jovia's Place palette and put to the crease again. See? It's a very nice. So after doing that, back to the transition brush that I use and blend it well for the last step. So for the under eye, I'm going to do it off cam and see in a bit. I'm back! So as you can see, I already put some lashes and I already done with the eyeshadows and for the next step that I'm going to do is bronzer. I'm going to use this product from Vice Cosmetics and this is not actually a bronzer. This is actually a foundation pero ginagamit ko sa This is not actually a bronzer. This is a foundation and I use it as a bronzer because I bought a dark shade and yes, let's start. Let's put it here first. You know what bronzer? It's very helpful because if you put a foundation that's not fit to your skin, bronzer can help it. Most especially if it is too light to your skin tone, the bronzer, the bronzer will well help you. That's the purpose of bronzer. So after the bronzer, let's proceed to the nose contour. And I am still using this Vice Cosmetics for my nose line, nose contour. after the nose line get some loose powder and bake it to make it pointly pointly <laughs> to make it pointed there you go and after putting some loose powder we're going to highlight our nose contour by using our palette again which is the lightest color so I'm going to put it here on my nose tip and a little bit over here for the illusion to make it a very pointed nose see that nose very pointed right so after doing that let's proceed to the blush on so after the blush on let's proceed to the highlighter and still go use I still go, so after the blush on, let's proceed to the highlighter and I am still using the palette to put some highlighter on my face. The highlighter should be up here, not here because this area is for the blush on and this area is for the highlighter. Because I've seen a lot of people, they put highlighter on the apple cheek in the apple of the cheek <laughs> instead of putting it here after the highlighter let us dust off the excess powder under our eyes under my eyes by so for the lipstick I'm going to use this from Caroline I really love this 
lip gloss because it has a color. And it smells so good. I think we're done. We're finally done. And I will not speak English anymore. And it's so hard for me. You know, because I'm, I'm not fluent in English, but at least I tried my best. <laughs> so, na. so for the final look, look, I'm going to spray first the facial spray, the Vesco, and just keep on watching. Hi everyone, this is the final look and thank you so much for staying until the end of this video. Thank you talaga guys and thank you so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below. And also, we're finally 600 subscribers now so thank you so much guys. So, thank you. Bye!